It's Tech Bridge time on Lagos Television and Tech Bridge time is always an amazing time because this is where we talk technology. This is where we connect all the dots for you around the world of technology. We make sure that we put all the information together to ensure that you have technology working for you. Whatever the challenge, whatever the solution you are looking for, there is always a place for it in the tech space. I am sure you for me all today. Welcome to Tech Bridge on Lagos Television. So today it's uh, all dedicated to the women, all dedicated to the girl child, the female folk, because we realize that uh, it is a world that must be all inclusive. And uh, if we talk about the women folk, there is no way we can have the world going without them. Yes, that is a statement of fact. And some statistics have it that the population of women is quite much than that of male. If that is true, then we must always ensure that we have the space for them. Not because we want to compete or they want to compete with us, but because we have to realize that they are important factors when it comes to getting things done. And of course, the tech space is not exempted. So we're looking at the women in the tech space today, the issues around them, the challenges they have to face, and of course, offer some form of motivation, inspiration to ensure that we have a level playing ground for all of us. So stay with me, it's still Tech Bridge on Lagos Television. So thanks for staying with Tech Bridge on Lagos Television and uh, I've been talking about the fact that uh, we need to look at uh, the women and I've got to mention that uh, the situation has changed, the narrative is changing, we are having more women come into the tech space and not just coming to the tech space, they are taking key positions and we've got one of such people, one of such women in the tech space in the studio today. She holds a PhD in uh, engineering and uh, if you read her profile, you realize that you've got to be inspired by all that she's achieved. I've got Dr. Yinka Oduwole on today's show. Thank you for having me. 
course, we should be saying thank you for coming on the show too. <laughs> okay, so let's pick it from this place. I'm going to be asking you the very first one. And um, what informed your decision to go into, to come to the tech space? Because naturally, you'll have gone for modeling, singing, and some other so-called uh, female-related professions. So why technology? So, um, I think um, when I was at the point of choosing um, a career, I didn't really consider gender. So, I was probably influenced by three factors. Um, the first being skill sets. So, I had um, good analytical skills um, and that's because I enjoyed mathematics. So, I wanted a career that would help me develop my mathematical skills and one where I could play around with that. And then um, also it was the mainframe computer era at that point. So I wanted a career that would help me understand computers very well. And the third being I had a sibling that was um, actually doing a degree in engineering. So when I spoke to him about wanting to pursue a career in engineering, he encouraged me. So these were the factors that really helped me to um, choose engineering. So I didn't really consider the gender Aspect. So you just saw yourself as someone that is equal to the task or whatever? I, I didn't really see it as um, I was competing with the male folks. In fact, I didn't really think it was particularly a male career until maybe I got to the classroom and I saw that, oh, we were like just a few females. So I didn't really consider gender. It wasn't something I thought about. It was just my skills. Okay, where can I best utilize them that led me into engineering? Okay, so but now that you are a major player in the tech space, so how do you rate our uh, women participation in the tech space? Do you think uh, the women folk have enough motivation to, to try it? So I would say um, in Nigeria and developing countries, we've not done bad. Um, if I compare with what's obtainable in other parts, like the UK for instance, I would say female participation is still quite good. And that's just because of our culture. So if you have parents, um, they will typically tell you they want their children to pursue engineering, doctors. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that has sort of helped to a large extent. But we still have a long way to go in terms of female participation within the tech space. And I, I definitely know um, motivation plays a key role. And if we have um, lots of female tech leaders that are being showcased, then young girls can see themselves in those shoes. So I would say like um, a good example is um, the recent appointment by Dr. Ngozi Konjurela yeah, as the DG of WTO. Now girls can see themselves um, pursuing developmental economics just because there's a role model. So if we have more of those in the tech space, I'm sure a lot of young girls would be encouraged to pursue the tech career. Okay, about uh, with enough motivation coming from different quarters, as you've mentioned, will you still agree with the statement that says that it is difficult for the women folk or the female folk to thrive in the tech space? No, I don't. I actually disagree. Um, and I think it's a misconception. Um, the reason being that, like, when I was trained as an engineer or, like, as a scientist, like, they never really consider gender. They just teach us scientific concepts or technical concepts. Um, and if you give me certain tasks, I could outperform my male colleagues and they could also outperform me. So it's really intellectual prowess rather than how you look. Um, although I would say as females progress, you could have issues like family. When they start juggling family with career, that could be a limiting factor that sort of limits the success rate of um, female tech players. But it's, it's not exclusive to the tech space. Any sector, you'll find that as women progress, there's always that issue. And then you could have also issues of gender bias that maybe limit their promotion. So there are just external factors that could limit their success. It's not like the field is much more difficult for them than for their male folks. Mm, but how do we combine uh, the home front with the career path in the tech space for a female? So I, I, I can't <laughs> answer that question. I understand that why you were saying that. But uh, from what you've seen and what you know, how do you think that could be? I feel like it's a, it's a combination of factors, like maybe um, um, having maternity leave, paternity leave, so it's not just the um, female folks now, the male folks yeah. also take care of the children, paternity leave, and then childcare arrangements where, you know, they're not necessarily worried about 
picking up their child. So it's a combination of factors. And I can't really say, oh, this is the one solution to it. But it's something that is exclusive to all sectors. It's not just the tech space alone. So, and it's something we have to deal with, so. <laughs> so if you must recommend how to deal with it, what would be your recommendations for the female folks? So like I said, it's a, it's a range of recommendations. It's not just for them, it's for the employers. So like they could have childcare in the office, for instance. So it means um, when they um, pick up their child in school, there's a place where they can be attended to whilst they are still working. So it's a combination of different things, flexible work arrangements, maybe they could work from home. It's just a combination of factors. I won't say oh, it's just one thing that we need no, to do. it all. Yes. Okay. All right. So this year's out, um, International Women's Day, by the United Nations has this theme, choose to challenge. So if you must relate with that theme, how do you relate with it? So I would say this year's theme is very relevant to the tech sector um, because this year's theme is um, choosing to challenge gender inequalities, um, call out biases and question stereotypes, which would help to create a more inclusive society. And these are some of the issues we face in the tech space where you know, there's a wide gender inequality. So I believe if the world takes this thing seriously um, and can narrow that gender inequality, it will benefit the tech space um, because we would have more women participating and we would have more diverse opinions on views within the tech space. Do you think that um, the female folk will do better? In the tech space? Yes, than the male folk. So... <laughs> I, like I said, it's so in the tech space, it's really not about gender because, like I said, we, we, we're not, never really trained about gender. You're trained using physics or your biology. Or, so yeah, but some people just still believe that the male folk can deal with perform. those. Yeah. So I don't think so because, like I said, there are certain tasks you give me, I would outperform my male colleagues. In the same way, there are other tasks you give them they were to perform it. So it's not really because about... Gender. Yeah, so it's not really... Just. Gender is not really... I think it's just a misconception. So, and I would say um, a good example. So if you ask the average girl how an engineer look like, mm. they probably think of a construction engineer <laughs> or an oil and gas engineer wearing the hats, you know, on the yeah. sides, you know. Because but that's not how all engineers look. You probably won't think I'm an engineer. Oh, because so, you don't have the helmet on. Exactly. <laughs> so it's just a misconception. And it's not all engineers that work on field. Mm. Some work in the office. In fact, those in the office have to um, actually help those on site, you know. Because through the computers and everything, you have to help them and make sure they are safe. And so a lot of engineers work in the office. So it's really a misconception that the average engineer looks like that, that you have to have an element, you have to know. Mm. Well, that's inspiring. So let's talk about the challenges. For the number of years you practiced and probably you studied, yeah. so you probably have encountered some challenges, regardless of gender now, probably on the job. So what was the inspiration that kept you going and up to this time and probably make you overcome those challenges? So I would say um, one of the beauties or really good things with working in tech spaces, you're actually coming up with a solution that affects people's life. So when you think about that, that whatever you're developing or whatever you're contributing to is something that would actually help people's lives one way or the other. I think that is inspiring enough to keep you going. So and I would say, regardless of um, the job or wherever you find you, you probably always encounter challenges. But like I said, the tech space is really, um, um, really good in the sense that you develop stuff that actually affects people's life and you can see the effect on people. So I would say that is enough inspiration to keep anyone going within the tech space. Um, as engineers, your male folk will see you as an engineer and your female folk will, and, and the female folk will see the male folk as an engineer. So it's more your male colleague or your female, you're all engineers and you're all bouncing ideas. So I wouldn't say there's a guardian that is exclusive to only male folks. I'm sure you can interact with them. They see you the same way they see themselves. You're Just engineer. as a colleague. Exactly. So I've deliberately asked those questions because I want viewers out there to know that technology has no gender face to it and you've responded consistently 
that regardless of your gender you collaborate with the male folk and you just get things done so with that i need you to please encourage a girl child out there or a lady or a woman out there who is looking at uh, venturing into the tech space or is presently in the space you've been so inspired you've been so motivated to do all of this and you're still getting more grounds so what do you have to say to that person so i would say um for any young girl or um, a young lady out there who is thinking or is even in the tech space um, and is thinking, oh, should I pursue a career in tech? I would say definitely go for it. Um, the tech space is a, um, will give you a career that will be fulfilling and rewarding. Um, I mean, just look around you and you see um, the transformative impact of technologies from the way we communicate using mobile phones um, the way we use Zoom or social media, or even the way we travel. An engineer designed um, the aircraft that we use to travel from one place to the other. Or even the way we land objects in the outer space, moon, just name it. You know, it's an engineer that came up with some of those brilliant concepts. So I would say just look around you and you'll see how technology has impacted people's life, even your life, in one way or the other. And um, it's a rewarding and fulfilling career. It's somewhere where um, you will solve people's problem using your knowledge or your know-how or, or your technical expertise. So my advice to you is to definitely consider it. And if I can um, work in the tech space and, you know, be successful to an extent, then so can you. So please definitely consider it. I'm inspired too, even as a male. <laughs> well, that's great. Thanks so very much for those words of encouragement. And I'm very sure that someone is speaking that. And um, we'll be grateful that you've inspired her to do this. Thanks so very much, Dr. Yinka Oduwali, for coming on the show. We hope to keep this conversation going. And we hope to see you up there. Keep soaring. Make the, the tech space bigger than what it is. Thanks so very much for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. Okay. All right. The program is still Tech Bridge on Lagos Television. Please stay with us. Well, that was Dr. Yinka Oduwali talking about uh, the women, the, the tech space, the challenges, the inspiration, the motivation, and of course, all that we need to know about that. If you ask me, I think that is one of the best motivations you can have as a woman. And of course, even as a man, I've, I've, I think I'm inspired. Yes, I'm inspired. And uh, the conversation cannot just stop here. So I want to encourage everybody, the male counterpart shouldn't see the females as a threat or competitors. No, it is supposed to be a collaborative effort to ensure that uh, the tech space keeps going so that you can have a lot of solutions deployed really it is emphasized that the tech space has no gender face to it. It is just all about solutions, all about innovations, all about collaboration, just to ensure that we have a better world. So that's the show today. Many thanks for connecting. Remember that our Tech Bridge is on Facebook. That is Tech Bridge LTV. And on YouTube, we also Tech Bridge LTV. Do remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can have a prompt of this fresh episode and all of that previous episodes as we upload them. So to some other time, keep innovating, keep achieving more, and keep leveraging on technology. I am sure you for me all that today. Bye for now.